Um, so I'm Michelle Raja. Um, I just came off of clinic, so I'm a little flustered. But I just graduated medical school uh, a couple months ago. And so I just started my career as a doctor. Um, so let me tell you, I'm actually not giving this talk as a physician, but I'm giving this talk more importantly as a, as a patient. Um, you know, uh, when I was younger, maybe about 19 in college, I just remember there was one day where I just felt all of a sudden, I don't know if any of you can relate, but I felt like a shell of, my shell, a shell of myself. I was just walking around, I felt psoriatic, I felt bloated, I felt uh, like I just, it just wasn't me. And you know, like any sick person, I went to doctor after doctor, uh, got lab tests and imaging and pills up the wazoo, and nothing ever helped. And this happened for 10 years. So what is that, like 3,500 days? This happened for 10 years. And with each doctor that I went to, each time I went, I had a lot of hope. I was like, maybe this is the doctor that's going to heal me. Maybe I'm going to get back myself. But I just went, and, and I was let down. And finally, it got to the point where in medical school, I saw a doctor as a medical student. And he was like, look, you're sick. You're not going to get better. This is just what you have. You've done enough. Just keep going. And that was my experience. So let me actually tell you, from the medical training perspective, that I understand why he said that. I understand where they're coming from. Because if you saw Michal in medical school, this was not a person to tell, hey, you need to do a nutrition model, module. I remember there was one day where I was studying with a girl I was dating at the time, and the, and the workload and the rigors were so complex, she started crying. And I was like, oh my god, I can't. I can't study this. And I remember calling my mom later that day. I was like, what did I just learn all day? And I was studying it for eight hours, you know? So these are the people who now we have to be like, look, maybe a lot of what you're learning about pushing pills when somebody comes in, maybe that's not the way. Maybe instead of applying one specific diagnosis, maybe what you have to do is step back and look at the person as a whole. Now imagine telling one of you know, the highest trained specialists, you have to look at a patient holistically. Imagine what kind of reaction you get. Imagine the scoff. I've been there. I've asked them. But these are the, patient, these are the people that we need to target. How do we do that? Well, first of all, I actually um, brought one of my friends from residency with me. Um, she knows nothing about functional medicine. Right outside, I was like, hey, Clover, blah, 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 functional medicine, inflammation, leaky gut, this is it, let's go. And she's here. <laughs> um, but that's not, the, that's not the way to do it. Um, the way to do it is the next time that a lot of you have the opportunity to give a grand rounds at a residency or to go into a medical school, they do a lot of courses where uh, practitioners and, and, and people are able to come talk, and, and they call this um, like clinical medicine or things like that. You know, Take that opportunity and go um, speak about what we do. Speak about why we do it and talk about the evidence. Talk about how people are becoming better and really a lot of what these practitioners are doing these days, people are becoming worse. The next time a medical student or a nursing student or a chiropractor student wants to rotate through your practice, say yes. Make that time. Take that extra 10 minutes. Um, it's worth it because you know, for that, for that patient who, after 10 years, and has lost all hope, and is sitting there at night, Googling his symptoms for the umpteenth time, hoping that he was going to find the solution finally, it matters to that guy. Because there are millions of people out there with chronic disease that they're still Googling their symptoms, and it still hasn't been alleviated. And we here know how to fix these people and what trajectories they should take, but they are lost and we owe it to them and we owe it to ourselves and we owe it to our training and we're at a beautiful time in medicine because we've been past the gauntlet of carrying things forward. We can make the world better because these chronic disease, it's skyrocketing in this country and we have the baton. It's a beautiful time for us and the future is so bright. So the next person doesn't have to wait 10 years and Google something and find something about functional medicine on Mon Body Green. He can hear it from you guys. And then he can stand here just like me after 10 years of being sick and being able to have the opportunity to talk to you guys on a stage, which is something I never would have been able to do ever a couple of years ago. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening and thank you for organizing it and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Woo.